Hello out there. My name is Melly Dunn. I make videos about design, the lifestyle of a designer, and anything that I want. And I just want to welcome you to the new year. That is right. It is officially 2023. 2022 has left and we are now going on to a whole new year with new possibilities. And because of that, I started to brainstorm some ideas for myself for 2023. See, I like to set goals for myself, not like hard, like if I don't meet these goals, I'm kind of failing at stuff, but just like goals that I can work towards, try to achieve, try to better myself. That way I can look back on past years and see how much I have grown. And I thought it'd be really fun if I have a video of those goals. And then when we're about to hit 2024, I can look back and see what I managed to tick off my list, what I'm still working at, and what I just wasn't able to get to. And when drafting up this list, really everything comes down to two main categories. The first one being like my professional growth, where I wanna take my career, the things I wanna achieve for myself to better myself, in my career, stuff like that. And then goals for my personal life and the person who I want to be in the upcoming year and years beyond. So starting with my career, I feel like a lot of what I want to achieve this year has to do in the realm of UX design, UI design, and product design. And that's obviously because I'm trying to transition my career from my print design career track into tech and UX, UI product design. So the first thing I want to accomplish right out of the new year is I want to finish the portfolio project redesign I've been doing. I took the Google course, I did all three projects, but evaluating the work that came out of that course, I found that I can improve my projects. And I specifically gravitated towards my last project I did. So I have been redesigning the UI and like the overall functionality of the app and the mobile screens and making it a stronger project. And I'm hoping that I finish that and that I can make my case study from that. And piggybacking off of that project, I'm hoping that either the end of January, or the beginning of February, we get back to doing the podcast website redesign project. That's a real client project I'm doing for my fiance and his friend. I did the wire framing and all that and we have it planned but we need to get together and plan out like the actual visual aspect and like what kind of photos they want on it and stuff like that. I'm hoping that maybe it won't be more than six months. I hope it'll be a lot less than that. I'm just gonna give that to kind of make me feel better if it takes longer. This year, I really hope to learn a lot more about Figma. There's a lot of tutorials that I've been saving to watch later, and I really love Figma. I think it's a very powerful tool, and there's a lot more you can do with it than Adobe XD. I'm just really hoping to learn more about Figma since it's such a powerful tool. I hope to learn more about the tech field and to find like webinars and events and stuff and just to experience it more. I've always been very fascinated by tech and I have definitely seen that since when I was younger, we didn't really have much technology to now where there's a lot, like I have a watch that's a smart watch, you know? <laughs> like I've just seen like how life has improved the more technology has become sophisticated. And I find that very fascinating. So I really love to learn more about that. I really wanna use this year as like a reflection period on my career and start thinking about where I want my career to go more intensely and more refined. And I mean that in like, I know that I wanna go into the tech field. I know that I really wanna do UX design, UI design, product design. But I think that it would do me good to take some time to reflect and do research on like tech and then the different like subgenres of tech 
and really hone in where my interests are and where my talents could really shine. I actually have been taking the time to go to UX design talks that UX designers in the industry are doing. And I went to several different ones now and they were hosted by several different UX designers. And I've gone from, well, I just wanna be a UX designer to, wow, there's different kinds of UX designers. There is one UX designer I actually went to two of her talks because it was aimed more for people who were coming out of boot camps and trying to get into junior roles or already are in junior roles. But she's a UX designer that works in the train industry, which was completely different from, I went to a talk a UX designer went, did that they work for Figma. So that really opened my eyes that I think I really need to take some time, like I said, to really refine down and think about this. And I think that would be really good because then I can cultivate a direction that I'm going to have an actionable plan in applying for jobs. So that way, instead of wasting my time of just like apply, 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 I can refine my search and really hone in on specific companies that match what I want. And then that would make me a stronger candidate. I'm currently a manager in my role and I have been for a couple years. I think transitioning to UX design, I'm not gonna be a manager at first, but I really wanna build up to be a UX design manager. I think I really shine in management. I really love helping people. I love figuring out problems. I love guiding a team. But I really think I need to learn better to be a better manager. I wanna find some courses on management and just like learn to be a better manager. So that way I can help my current team. And then when I off board to hopefully a UX design job, somewhere down my career path, I can be a really good UX design manager to a team. This year I really wanna network more and I really would love to build a peer circle of people trying to transition to UX design or people who are already in UX design that can give pointers. I always avoided networking actually because I never thought it was worth anything and I never really learned how to do it. But now that I'm older and I've been in a job for a while, I'm actually seeing that networking is very valuable and like, can really open opportunities that aren't there on a job board. So I really want to get stronger at that. I'm not good at it. I'm very introverted and I always feel like I'm bothering people. So like there's people that definitely I've come across that are at my level right now and I would love to reach out and like chat and like build like a relationship with and be like, oh, let's share our UX journeys and like resources and like, oh, I saw this thing that you should see. Maybe they'd be like, oh, I saw this thing you should see. I'm not really good at that though. Like making first approaches. I'm more of a lurker and I live in comment sections and like I comment feedback on people's posts and videos and stuff. So I don't know, I gotta figure that one out. And obviously the last one for my professional growth I hope to end 2023 with a new job. <laughs> I do see jobs that are like just graphic design that also have aspects of UX design. So even if I got into one of those, I think that would be really good. And that experience would add to my resume and it would add to my skills. And then I could apply for like a more core UX design, product design job with that experience. And if all you cared about were my goals for my UX design transition, that's it. And I wish you the best of day, but now on to my personal goals list. My first personal goal on this list kind of was thrusted on me and my fiance unwillingly a couple of weeks ago. And that's because our basement flooded really bad. Our sump pump broke, which is really infuriating because like when we pulled that out of the hole, it was disgusting, rusted, really old. It probably should have been replaced many years before this house was even put on the market. I was extremely upset about it and had a lot of emotions, but I've calmed down and like, I couldn't really help it, you know? 
It happened, it's what it is. Now we just deal with it and move on. We're just now going through cleanup and evaluating the stuff that's down there. So I really hope the beginning of the year to get that finished. So it's not a dead weight on the rest of the year, just like with the rest of the world probably. I hope to get more sleep. I'm a night owl. I don't do really well in the morning. I have a really hard time waking up, but when I get going with coffee, I'm good through the day. And then, especially now, like having a kid, I can't really do stuff during the day because I'm working and taking care of my kid. So I do a lot of the stuff that is like my interests and like stuff around the house at night, but that pushes me, you know, into the evening of doing stuff. So I don't usually get to bed till one o'clock. And then I'm getting up like between seven and nine o'clock and then working. So that's not really healthy. So I'm hoping to find a balance and like correcting that and like getting more sleep. I wanna eat less meat and less take out fast food. Um, the meat thing, I've actually like been cutting down a lot. I was always like okay with chicken, but like I didn't really prefer it. I always preferred vegetables. And then actually when I got pregnant, I had an aversion to meat, so I couldn't even eat meat. And then when I gave birth, I could eat meat again, but it just like, it's not the same. It doesn't, like it doesn't feel like food anymore, you know? It's just hard because my fiance really would prefer to get takeout or just order something. And as soon as we get into a cycle of not doing that, something happens like the basement flooding and then we just rely on ordering. I think it would also really help if I'm able to detach a little bit. I feel like when we have dinner, it's really like one of the only opportunities we have to spend time together. And then that kind of projects out that I feel like if we are getting separate meals, it's not really togetherness that like our lives are getting too divided. And I really think I would be more successful going off meat if I could detach my need to eat the same thing as him, you know? I think that's something I need to work at this year. I wanna go on a trip this year. We didn't go on a trip last year. And I don't think we've really gone on a real trip since before I was pregnant. Yeah, I think the last one we went on was Seattle. We went to Virginia recently because my sister lives down there. So we went for my nephew's birthday and that was really cool. But yeah, I think a trip is due. I really wanna work a trip in. I wanna make an attempt to spend more time with my family this year. Me and my fiance live very busy lives and now we have a kid, which doesn't help. It kind of leaves no room to really spend time together. And then when we do have time to spend time together, we're so exhausted, we don't wanna do anything. So we end up like just watching a TV show. I would just like to make an attempt to try to spend quality time together this year. That could go along with planning trips or like taking weekend trips, doing stuff, maybe instead of watching something with dinner, talk to each other. And especially having a kid, like I struggle a lot that while I'm working, I'm not really spending time with my kid. And then essentially when I'm done with work, we only have an hour before he goes down for bed. So I'd really love to get to a point that I'm spending more time with my son. And especially now he's getting older, I really wanna take him to see things and like experience things. I don't want his life just stuck inside in the same place, not experiencing the world. That's depressing. There's a few house projects that I want to get accomplished this year. One, unfortunately, now is being pushed back because of the basement flood. In our kitchen, which is back here, we have over the sink, like this section of wall that was protruding out and we cut it open. We're building an in-wall shelf to store things, to get stuff off the counters. There's some cabinets that we wanna rip down and hopefully take that stuff and store it up there and like open the kitchen up more. But the wood my fiance bought that was going to go in the wall to build that shelf was in the flood and it's all ruined. So we gotta get more wood now. And I'm also hoping to get a dedicated area for me to record videos and to do photography set up. We have an attic that is livable. We were making an office in one section and then there's like a wall with a door and then there's like this little room 
that's like outside the stairs that is to come down from the attic. I really wanna set it up with like a small little table and a small little like fluffy chair or something and like some background aesthetic and just have like a dedicated place I can record videos. But right now, all my fiance's guitars and his bass guitar is in that area because of the flood. So we gotta get stuff cleaned up and then hopefully I can fulfill that project. I really wanna take this year to try to grow my YouTube channel and see what I can do. I've actually always tried to do YouTube, but then I would fall off. Like when YouTube first was around, doing video on it was like kind of hard because technology wasn't there. And I didn't have a job, so it wasn't like I could buy equipment or like use anything. Also like cell phone cameras weren't really a thing that like you can record videos on. But now that I have a camera and stuff, I here and there try to like work at it. And I would start, but then life would happen and my attention would go to other things. But I think I'm at a point now that I really wanna focus on this because video is a passion of mine and I really wanna to learn to do video more. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do video week. We'll see if I can do it. I hope I can. And music, which is a fun one. I'm marrying into a family that is all about music. My fiance has a million instruments in our house and he sings all the time. And he's always doing little covers of songs, which is fun. Actually, music is how me and my fiance really bonded because we're both really introverted and we're both very nervous with meeting new people. We bonded because I just kept sending him YouTube videos of songs and then he started to send YouTube videos of songs back to me. And then it just became this thing that we were just sending music back and forth to each other all day, making our life better at work. Since we moved in together, we would sing together a lot. Singing, I guess it strengthened the muscles in my chest that I wasn't having as many issues with my asthma anymore. So I really wanna learn singing better. We talked about like maybe learning songs and he has like his microphones and like setting them up and recording me singing while he plays instruments. And I just think it would be a really good exercise for me to learn to sing better, but also to keep strengthening the muscles in my chest and hopefully never have asthma attacks again. With that, I also want to find where my ukulele went and get back to learning to play it. We started to learn a song together and I actually had it to the point that I could do the song and he could sing along to it and I was so proud of myself. But then, like a really smart person one day, we were riding our bikes down a hill and I fell face forward over my handlebars. And I threw my arm out to stop myself because I was like, oh God. And I guess like the impact and just being older, I broke my elbow right here. And I was like in a thing forever. That kind of delayed because then I was obviously not able to do my ukulele when I was like this. And then when my arm started to feel better, like life got busy. We packed up our whole apartment because we bought a house and we moved and we're still unpacking and it's in a box somewhere. I don't know where, but I really would love to find that and get back to it because I would really love to learn to play my ukulele. And that's it. Those are my professional growth goals, mainly focused in UX design right now, and my personal growth goals for this year. If you've made it to the end of this video and you enjoyed this, please give this a thumbs up. That's really cool. If you'd love to see more videos, please subscribe. That'd be really awesome. I do videos on design, the lifestyle of a designer, and generally anything I'm interested in. Thank you for watching, it is greatly appreciated, and I hope that you also have an exciting 2023 set up. Your year is only gonna be as great as your mindset, so take some time to put yourself in a personal growth mindset and be positive. And I hope you have a fantastic year and a great week, and I will see you in the next one.